Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in for another one of my video recipes. Today we're gonna do a really simple recipe. We're gonna make our very own chicken pot pie from scratch. Well, kind of from scratch. I've got most of my ingredients already sitting out right here. <clears throat> of course, you can read the entire recipe on my website, dance420chronicles.com slash recipes. Be sure to check that out. I've got my chicken ready. My oven preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna get this started by throwing that in there. Get our chicken cooked. Once that comes out, we can get it shredded and then we can start putting everything together. So while that cooks, I'm gonna to continue to work on my bowl and I'll be back in just a few minutes. <coughs> all right, chicken's all done. Got it out, shredded. Next, we're going to get our pie pan, throw our crusts, see if we can get this thing opened up, there we go, this is one of my favorite recipes simply because oh, my oven is, is preheated to uh, 400 degrees, which is what we need it to be. But I was saying, the reason I like this recipe is because it's pretty quick, simple, and easy, and man, is it delicious. So we're gonna get our pie crust and just line our pie pan. Line that up here on the bottom. It may not be perfect, but I kinda got it in there right there. Next is gonna to be to mix our ingredients. I need to get a mixing bowl for that. So, I'll be back in just one second. I also need to double check the recipe to see what the measurements are. So, I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, got all my ingredients measured out. I should have probably did that before, then I would've had to have done another cut, but oh well. It is what it is. So, I've got everything measured out. My half a cup of milk, Two cups of chicken, one cup of cheese, and we are gonna just start to mix this together. So I've got a mixing bowl right here. Take our soup. Just dirty the dish for no reason, but that's all good. This one is gonna work a lot better, there we go. calls for 14 ounces, 12 ounces, I think you said, yeah. And this is actually a 16 ounce bag, so we're gonna kinda eyeball it. And of course, you can always go heavier or lighter with your veggies if you prefer. Chicken, can't have a chicken pot pie without chicken. See if you can snap a couple of pictures too. So I got that. That's what it looks like, right? All right. Next step is to dump it in our pie shell. Out. There it is 
inside of our shell. We're going to take our cheese, our cup of cheese, and we are only going to use a little bit of it. I'll sprinkle that right on the top because we're going to go a little bit heavier. The last of it will be for the very top. Over time. They're a little slippery. It's not cooperating with me. There we go. I got it. Nope. It is still not cooperating. Alright. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Finally. After about 10 minutes of fighting with the wrapper, I think we won now. We're trying to fight with the crust. Come on. If we can get this thing to unroll. Yikes. Yikes. All right. Salvage it. There we go. I'm going to take that. Put that right on the top. Pinch the sides together, kind of doing the roll and pinch technique. Of course, I'm sure everybody's got their own little strategy, whether it's the pull and squeeze or tuck to roll. What you want to ultimately do is just make sure that you are combining the top crust with the bottom layer. The pie's going to be a little lopsided, but you know what? Eat there you go. That is our pie. Ready to throw it in to the oven? Got the oven at 400 degrees. We're going to throw it in. No, we don't have it at 400 degrees. It says 400 degrees. Okay. We're going to throw. No, we're going to do something else. I'm just not sure exactly what. <laughs> Maybe put some cheese on the top. Was that? No. So. Next step is going to be. <laughs> you got to put cut slots in it. Slits. Slits. I knew that. Duh. <laughs> I can't have a without slits on the top. All right. Well, now that I have my slits in my pie, we're going to throw it in the oven. Oven is at 400 degrees. We confirmed that already. So we're good on that. We're going to let this go for about 30, 35 minutes, and then hopefully it's going to be ready to go. Should give me just enough time to load a bowl and get that smoked. So let's get this in here. Got the dogs, of course, at my feet. We're going to set our timer. We're going to set it for 30 minutes to check it. Start that. All right, we are well on our way. I'll see you guys. Well, video time as always, literally a couple of seconds, but real light, real time. See you in about 30. <sighs> You're back just in time. My timer went off about a minute ago. I pulled the pot out and topped it off with <clears throat> The rest of that cheddar cheese that I had, I'm going to screw it back in <coughs> to help melt it. There it is. Ooh, look at that. That is ready to go. <coughs> Hell yeah, I'm ready to dig in. So there you have it. Again, for the full recipe, check out my website, dance420chronicles.com slash recipes. Make sure, as always, that you're subscribed to my channel. Like and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for the support and until my next video.